Hi everyone. Okay, I know it's been a long while since I've put anything up on YouTube. And once I get everything in order, I'll be putting more interesting things up on YouTube for and on Facebook as well. Forget can't forget about my Facebook. And um but as you can tell, and from the title, this is me giving a review on Jessica Jones 2 that has been released on Netflix. Now, if you're not a big comic book or Netflix kind of person, I won't get just, this is me and I want to give my review. Um... I watched all 13 episodes. I binged, watched, and they, to me personally, I love them. I just, I thought it was actually a wonderful, well shot, well done, binge worthy watching for me personally. And for anyone that loves comics, like myself. And are fans of that type. Now, I want to give you a little heads up. If you're the type where, like, foul language is one, it offends you, and a lot of sex type of things offend you, this is not your cup of tea. Don't even watch it, because <laughs> it, there is a lot of sex and a lot of F-bombs, and um, there's a lot of violence as well. So that is something to keep in mind. This is not anything I would say watch with your kids that are 14 or younger. I would not suggest watching it. It's very adult oriented, And with this, Jessica Jones as well, it has a good meaning or underlying meaning to it. It gives you a lot of answers that was left open about the character of Jessica Jones. It, it does answer those questions, but the underlying tone of the series is healing a relationship of you and your parents, or it's a connection of showing mom and daughter connecting, and they done it really well, and I thought that it was very, very, very well done, and it was really a great, great series to watch. Um, but let me warn you, if a lot of cursing and violence and sex is something that is not like your cup of tea, you may not want to really watch this. But if you don't mind it and you just want to enjoy a R-rated comic type of series, it's great. Honestly, I I plan on binge watching again, just uh, to rewatch it and get things refreshed in my mind and that kind of thing. I've done it with Iron Fist and all the rest of them, the Defenders, and I would say yes, it's good. And if you have the time or you just want to see something totally different then this, I would say, is very binge-worthy. But like I said, it's R-rated. This is something that could never, never been on like a network network of ABC, NBC type of thing. Um, probably HBO as well, because it's just got that, uh, very R-rated type of feel to it. But that is my review. The cast, uh, the acting on it was awesome. It was excellent. 
they didn't dip out into different weird things. I mean, it was pretty much on the flow of deal of the whole, you know, the story. Like it didn't, it, it kept like this. It didn't, and very seldom did it jump a little here, a little there. But all in all, great. Watch it if you got the time and you just want to see something different. It's um, really some good stuff. I haven't seen any Easter eggs in it. If you have, if you've seen e like Easter eggs or something like that, put it in the comments below and let me know. Let me know what you thought about Jessica Jones 2 on Netflix. I enjoyed it. I liked it. And I would say if you're a comic book fan, it's very, very much worth the watch. Okay, and that's just what I wanted to share. Um about what I thought about it. And don't worry, folks, I've got more stuff coming. I'm going to do like a vlog thing. Um, I've got this new laptop, and I'm going to show you all that, and I'll explain more about me personally, what I will be doing. i got a lot, lot planned. More abandoned places. I'm planning on going to Europe. I'm planning on... Um, doing like a documentary type of series as well so i got a lot of great things planned it's just getting there and it will happen okay everyone um other than that i think that's it so thank you for watching and i hope everyone has a great day y'all have a good one bye y'all see you later